Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, campers. Life's good. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Maurice's hot canary. Let's uh, finish up this triumvirate, it wouldn't be right. A triage. The Holy Trinity. <laughs> you can call it what you want. Guys, compare the, contrast the three... Uh, the three um, uh, hot canaries, they're all, all three of them are spectacular in their own way. I mean, to say you like one more than the other is, is not doing any disparage to what, I mean, it's just subjective. All right? Anyway, let me honk a little bit, and I will give you my thoughts on the subject, and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right. Some double C's, need another haircut. Double C's, a little bit of hiding. Life's good. Anyway, Maurice's hot can down below. So, uh, yeah, my thoughts on the subject. Horse Fisher, his hot canary wasn't all that virtuosic as compared to what he could do. We all know what he can do. I mean, the virtuosity, but he did have the G's above double C. Okay? Maynard's was just pure Maynard. Didn't have the ups, upper octave, you know, uh, that horse fish you have. But it was just a tremendous, tremendous display of virtuosity. Maurice's, as you can imagine, would be more refined than those two for sure. And he didn't disappoint. He threw in a cadenza at the end, which is sublime, a little uh, flight of the bumblebee along there. I, I mean, it's just to pick one more than the other. And again, they are all uh, recordings, not a live performance. They are all bastardized. Now remember, these are old recordings, and you can hear the plugins, you can hear the overdubs, you can hear the this, that, and the other. I mean, it, it's not pretty stuff. It, it's not a complete performance. Okay. With that said, who's to say <laughs> which one you like better? Uh, that was not uh, vintage Maurice. That was a little out of his uh, comfort zone. Uh, the way Maynard did his, it was right smack dab in what he does good and what he sounds good at. Horst, along the same lines. Who's to say? I love G's above double C. Who's to say? Pure Maynard, exciting sizzle, and Maurice at his at his best, his virtuoso refined best it's wonderful one thing i didn't like about maurice's um performance one thing and this is just splitting hairs listen closely to his g's he did not articulate them it's almost like a ka attack that he should we do, 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 do. none of them were popped. I don't know why he did that. Lord knows he can pop a high G. I know he can. We've all heard him do it. We've all heard his brand. Of it. Anyway, but anyway, if I was to make one critique, that would be it. Other than that, amazing. All right. Let me know what you want to, what you think down below. If you want to email me, be my guest, that's fine. Uh, the email is 
at the end of each video, R-A-S-A-L-A-M-O-N-E at AOL.com, all lowercase. And uh, tomorrow we'll get to something, something a little different. All right. Love you all, guys. We'll talk again.